The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. Uh, look at the Veterans Administration, where we, we've had this insanity of a very smart guy who came out of Procter & Gamble, very good guy, Bob McDonald, who is now so surrounded by the bureaucracy that he suggested that waiting in line to get in a VA hospital was comparable to waiting in line at Disney for a ride. Now, I mean, you have to get to a point where you wonder, what were the conversations like that took a really smart businessman, West Point graduate, a guy I admire, and gets him to a point where he's so totally lost touch with, you know, core reality. If you're a veteran and needs to be in a hospital, it ain't the same as taking your family to Disney World. And yet, this system is so corrupt now, corrupt not in the sense of bribery, but corrupt in the sense of being dishonest about the facts. Case of the VA, having the Los Angeles Hospital eliminate 3,000 appointments in order to say that the line was shorter. Well, that's, that's illegal. That's criminal behavior. And nothing's done. Nothing happens. But part of the problem is that Democrats and Republicans are not talking to each other. They're talking at each other. So how do you get beyond that? Because you talk to the American people and you get the American people to talk to both of them. You know, Re Reagan had this. I always recommend to people, if you really want to understand Reagan, there's a wonderful small book called The Education of Ronald Reagan, which is about the time he was a General Electric and what he learned there. And Reagan had a core model, as he would say it, he would turn up the light for the American people and they would turn up the heat on Congress. And that's how you bring them together. I mean, if you pick, and the VA is a perfectly good example. It is absolutely criminal what we have tolerated in the bureaucracy at the Veterans Administration. And yet the union leaders are proud of the fact that, that they dominate the secretary and that they have defined what you can do. Including, for example, my, my favorite example, there's a, there's a woman in Puerto Rico who pled guilty to armed robbery, who got reinstated in her job because the union made the point that her two immediate superiors included a convicted sex offender and a guy had been convicted of drug abuse. And since they were both criminals, then there was no grounds for not rehiring her too. Now you look at that if you're a normal American and you think that system needs to be picked up by the neck and shaken until it's changed.